Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to cover what to do if your computer does not show an image on your monitor. Basically you turn your computer on and there is nothing on the monitor. A completely blank screen, no writing, no image at all. Uh, what do you do? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look on the back of your monitor and you're going to want to find ports that look like this. The one that's uh, next to the HDMI port. Look for that port right there. And then look for a port that looks like this. That's a VGA port. If your computer is plugged into your monitor using this port, then go g and your monitor has an HDMI port, and your computer has an HDMI port on it, then go get an HDMI cable and plug your computer into your monitor using that port. Uh, if it works, you're good to go. Uh, you're going to upgrade from an uh, analog signal to a digital signal. It's going to look slightly better, and you're, you're good to go. Uh, if that does not work, uh, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, let's say you're already using an HDMI port, and let's say your monitor has multiple HDMI ports, you're going to want to plug your cable, uh, don't go to your computer, but go to your monitor, look for to see if it has another HDMI port, and plug your cable into a different HDMI port. If that doesn't work, get a new HDMI cable, plug it from your computer HDMI port into multiple HDMI ports on the back of your monitor. If none of that works, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to swap monitors uh, because you know at that point it's not a port. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go get a new monitor, plug it into your computer, and uh, plug it into multiple, you're going to want to use the HDMI port, plug it into multiple HDMI ports uh, if you have them on the back of your computer and see if you can get it to work. If your uh, new monitor is working, then you know that your old monitor is broken. And if your new monitor is not working, then you know that your old monitor is probably okay. And if you have another computer in the house, you can plug your old monitor into the other computer. And if the, mon the old monitor works on the, a different computer, and your new monitor does not work on the computer you're trying to test it on, then you know uh, you got a, you got a problem with the computer there. So what you need to do is if you have a problem with the computer and it's super old, uh, and when I say super old, I mean older than four years old, you're probably wanting to get a new computer. But if it's new, like a year, year and a half old, it's out of warranty, but it's a pretty nice computer, then what you're going to do is you're going to want to replace the video card. And you see these expansion ports right here? That's where a video card would be. A video card is, is a uh, card that slots into the motherboard, and it has one of these ports on it, either a VGA or an HDMI or a DVI port. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the side of the case off, pop that card out, and then pop a new one in. And then what you're going to also have to do is take your power supply. That's what this thing is right here. It's where your power cord plugs into. You're going to have to disconnect that and get a new power supply probably because OEM power supplies are usually not powerful enough to power video cards and you're going to have to replace that. Once you replace that and then plug a new monitor in uh, to your computer, uh, if it was in fact the video card, which uh, testing the monitors and everything would indicate, uh, then everything should be okay. Now, you may not have a video card, like this computer does not have a video card, you may just have onboard video, in which case what you would do is you would add a video card. You would just take one of those uh, uh, shims out, you would pop a video card into the motherboard, you would change the power supply, and then uh, after doing all of that, uh, everything should work. You may need to go into the BIOS and tell your computer to use your video card instead of using onboard video, uh, but that is a pretty trivial thing to do. Uh, that is what to do if your computer uh, is not showing an image on your monitor. If you found this video helpful, please uh, like and share it, and please subscribe to my channel. And if you're in the Memphis area and you're having any computer issues, 
and you need assistance, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman, at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. And as always, stay safe.